Hello everyone and welcome to MS SQL DBA course. Today we'll talk about what uh, is the difference between active active and active passive cluster. So first we'll see what exactly the active passive cluster is. As you can see this is failure cluster manager and in this we have two services AD1 and SQL service. AD1 is for all ozone availability which I have installed and SQL server is my SQL cluster. So as you can see this is two node cluster node 1 and node 2 and uh, let me go over here and both the services all ozone availability and both the services are running on node 1. So uh, as I said that we will be talking about active passive cluster first. So if any of the services goes down from uh, from this node 1 then that will be moved to node 2. Currently on, your, on node 2 there are no services or uh, no application running on this service. So active passive is basically where one node uh, all the applications are running on one node and the second node is free and if any of the uh, application or services goes down on node 1 then that will be moving to service 2 sorry node 2 and uh, the other part which is active active cluster in this what happens is like one application running on node 1 and the other uh, SQL service or other service will be running on node 2 so in this way uh, each uh, node will have one services active on that particular node so that's the reason it is called as active active uh, while uh, on in this will I'll try to demonstrate in this or uh, what I'll do I'll keep this always on availability on my node 1 and I'll move this uh, SQL service on node 2 let me just move this I'll just do right click move this application to node 2 and I'll say yes As you can see all the services and this are going up and down. It will take some time. But here it will come to know. Uh, the current owner will show uh, that this MS SQL service is running on which node. So as you can see my node 2 is uh, now MS SQL service is running on node 2. So now this uh, configuration uh, now these two nodes will be considered as an active active cluster earlier it was active passive and now these both two uh, will be considered node 1 and node 2 will be considered as active passive here you will get a better idea uh, a always on availability is running on node 1 and uh, SQL service is running on node 2 so this is active active cluster hope you all like it thank you for watching this video